Baby, you're the best thing, best thing move Baby, you're the best thing, best thing smoke Baby, you're the best thing, best thing that ever happened to me Baby, you're my good thing, good thing now You gon' be my good thing, good thing forever Baby, you're the best thing, best thing that ever happened to me To me, you are Hey y'all, what's up? I hope you guys are having a great day. I just wanted to talk to you guys about the season finale. Like, I cannot believe <laughs> the season is almost over. Like, where did the time go? Like, this has been like the fastest season ever for me. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, <laughs> maybe season five, we can get a couple more episodes. I doubt it. It's just wishful thinking. But, yeah, we need to talk because <laughs> per, you know, the description of the next episode, there is going to be some issues with Franklin and the family. Now, we pretty much know at this point, Franklin has not lost anyone close to him that will actually hurt him. And it's inevitable, guys, like. You know, we had a little spoiler about Aunt Louie. And I actually wish that we were not privy to that information. Like, I would have felt a little more surprised and shocked knowing, you know, not knowing about Aunt Louie getting, you know, shot and everything. So I feel like they kind of ruined that for us. Um, I would definitely have loved not to know that beforehand because the whole season <laughs> I was anticipating that happening. But I feel like... For her to start recovering, um, it wouldn't probably be in the writing's best interest to kill her off. Um, she already been through something and now she's pulling through. Um, and I don't think, you know, them having that as a spoiler, um, they would actually kill her off because they definitely would not do that. So that leaves his parents, Leon and Peaches. Now, I feel like Peaches leaving or, you know, dying will hurt Franklin, but it would not hurt him to the core, per se, because at the end of the day, Peaches is a soldier. Leon is a soldier as well. I don't feel like he is going to die, but I do need to figure out his arc. Uh, in terms of his character, you know, we've seen him, you know, kind of go through internal struggles with killing a child and now, you know, dealing with the death of her mom, which I feel like is not his fault at all. <laughs> the parent and the child dying, but he does feel that weight. So we need to figure out what's going to happen with Leon because, I'm a little nervous, like he seems to be going into a dark path. So I don't know, will he turn to drugs? Uh, will he turn to God? <laughs> I really don't know. And if Leon goes to that crack pipe child, I'm going to be aggravated. It's going to remind me of um, <laughs> New Jack City. Oh, wow. Why can I think of his name? Oh, it's going to piss me off. <sighs> the light skin dude. Payne, Alan Payne, actually. Yes, thank God I remembered. But yeah, when he turned to the crack pipe, I was so upset. <laughs> so I really hope Leon does not go that route. Um, and that actually has me thinking about Wanda. Like, will there actually be like a new Bobby and Whitney? Or will she try to, you know, get him off of drugs if he does turn to drugs? Like, what will happen with that dynamic? That would definitely be interesting to me. Now, Uncle Jerome, it is possible that he could die because for some reason, I don't necessarily see him and Aunt Louie being, you know, scot-free next season. Like, I feel like something would need to be shaken with that dynamic. I'm not sure how, but I definitely feel that it's possible Uncle Jerome could be on the chopping block, but he's such a great character. Like... <sighs> It would really be hard for me to like watch No Fall without Uncle Jerome. <laughs> like he just brings that depth, that comic relief. You know, he just like no other. So I really don't see that happening. Now, shout out to Leon, one of my subscribers. He actually mentioned 
Sissy may actually take the fall and possibly the one to get killed. And I haven't really thought about it. And when I referenced the scene in my last review between her and Jerome at the hospital, it kind of tipped me off to like, hey, maybe Jerome may be dying. But since Leon uh, mentioned like, hey, Sissy would be completely unexpected. Now that has my wheels turning because no one would be thinking of Sissy in terms of being a character that, you know, is it takes the fall. And, you know, it always is the innocent character. Well, she's not really innocent, but she is the most innocent <laughs> out of the family. So that is definitely a possibility. Leon, if you're listening to this, I hope it's okay for me to <laughs> reference your prediction. But I definitely think he is on to something with that. Because if the dad actually dies, and we know next episode... Um, we are focusing a lot on Alton. Now, if he dies, I know it would hurt Franklin, but he kind of F the family over. So I was like, eh. <laughs> but if Sissy were to die, that would definitely rock Franklin's world like no other. So, you know, that, that is definitely a strong possibility. Now that brings me to Scully I feel like if anything, if Scully was was to go back to his savage ways, he would take Sissy out and maybe not, you know, on purpose. Maybe, you know, she gets caught in a crossfire or something, or maybe he may actually aim for the mom because that's the woman that is closest to Franklin at this point besides Aunt Louie, but you know, I'm not sure if she would still be in a hospital recovering for him to actually get to her. So we got to be on the lookout for Scully because I really feel like he would be still on his repent <laughs> path. Um, but the fact that um, Khadijah um, told him, hey, if it was me, would you want payback or would you just sit still? So I think that may haunt him. Um, so that may actually be a possibility for Scully for, you know, to avenge his daughter and his girlfriend's death. Um, so I'm interested, you know, I really, I would hate to see Sissy go, but I feel like her being left out of the equation will change the entire dynamic of the show. So yeah, guys, we, we have to definitely, you know, stay tuned for that. And Teddy, is this Negro fired or not? Like, <laughs> I'm a little confused because the scene with him with leaving his little raggedy duffel bag, you know, at his headquarters, it had me thinking like maybe he's fired, but at the same time, I don't know. Like, is he suspended or is he trying to get his job back by correcting the things that went wrong? I don't know. Um, we got to figure out what's going on with Teddy. And then um, the... A synopsis uh, presents itself as showing Gustavo is going to take a new path. So I'm interested, like, I don't know when I first think of that, since he does have a background in wrestling, would he start his own wrestling league or, you know, something in sports or, you know, completely different because Teddy has told him, hey, find a plan B. So that could be his plan B. I don't know, Gustavo is a lot smarter than what I feel a lot of people give him credit for. So we'll have to see like what new path they're referring to. Um, I don't know. Wrestling. He may be, you know, the next rock. <laughs> Who knows? And then something uh, that has been uh, bothering me is T. Now, she's still out here alive in these streets or, you know, maybe in jail because, you know, Franklin pretty much told her to eat whatever happens with the situation with man boy and his homeboys. Now, I honestly feel, you know, through all of my first 48 <laughs> expertise, I, I feel like she either may become a snitch um, and pretty much tells the police everything about what Franklin has going on because yes, she is scared of Franklin, but I don't know. She may be salty. So who knows? Because I, I don't know what she can tell the police that will make her 
<laughs> be relieved of the death of Foreman. Like, I don't know. She could pretend that the homeboys in the car was completely unrelated, but I'm pretty sure the police will figure out like, hey, they are all together. So I don't know what's going to happen with T. Will she go to jail? Will she be, go to jail for a long time? Will she go to jail and become a snitch and not go for a long time? Would she run away somewhere? I mean, she didn't have no money, so. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure she's fired from the bar. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, hmm, what's going on with T? What's going to happen with Wanda? What's going to happen with Mel if she shows up? And, you know, we haven't forgotten about uh the snitch Irene yeah her you know I we had a little intern that you know she seems to be close with and her ex-husband so you know who knows the intern may figure out like hey I need to investigate this you know he will probably want to move up in the ranks so that may possibly cause him to want to you know put get his skin in the game and try to either avenge her death or investigate it hey you never know. He seems like one of those eager beaver ass dudes. And I'm so like interested in the whole city girl situation. Like they are an asset to Franklin's organization, but they are they are definitely a huge liability. They are reckless and they only care about money. They have no loyalty whatsoever. So I'm curious about the dynamic with the city girls and Wanda because they have some familiarity, of course, with each other. But I don't know. I feel like something's going to happen. Like, I know Franklin's overall plan is to kill them, uh, you know, at this point because they have completed their mission in terms of getting Khadijah. Um, but I don't know. I just feel like the, the plan may be altered for some reason and they may not die immediately. So yeah, guys, I don't know if I missed anyone, but those are just my little quick thoughts uh, before the season finale. Uh, let me know what you guys think is going to happen. Of course, we still got to touch on Little Rock. I know I've been talking about Little Rock <laughs> every episode since it aired, but they have to show us something. But honestly, I won't be mad because I don't want my nerves bad for season five. <laughs> <laughs> not at all but thank you guys for listening i hope you have a great day leave me some comments below let me know your thoughts predictions um just you know and let me know what your favorite character who your favorite character is um sorry i can't talk y'all i need to eat but <laughs> let me know who you love who you well we probably all hate the same people but yeah just Give me some feedback, guys. Like this video, please, please, please. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.